Currently working on a Volkswagen. This has the 1.4 TSI engine in it, doing the timer belt um, kit. And I thought it would be a good video to show you the timing marks and the special tools required if you wanted to get involved and do this job. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I have the new belt already on. These white marks here are my own. Um, I have one down on the crank, and I have them up on the belt, and I have them at the back of these pulleys as well. So this is your inlet here. This is your exhaust, and you have your actuator um, on the end of it. Some engines will have one on that side also. Now, with setting up these there is a lot of pressure on the cams so if you were to remove this without any lockers of any kind this would probably spring forward and that one would spring as well so you will lose the timing completely how it works is at the back of the engine there's a special tool you remove a plate that goes into this um, area here and it uh, allows access to the lobes on the back of the um, inlet cam. So the inlet cam here and that slots in. Then there's a cover that gets removed for the exhaust side. This is the water pump belt here. If you wanted to get access and do the water pump, it runs off this exhaust cam. Now, why I wanted to make this video in particular is if you see, even with the specialist tools, that's lined up in there that's lined up down here there is a gap so they're just in that hole in there where it sits into there's play and that play means that this can rock forward and back and i want to say about a tooth you could allow that to move about a tooth now when i had that set up I decided, because I felt there was too much play in there, that I would mark everything. So I marked the front of the cam on either side. I even marked the belt, and I'll tell you the reason for that in a second. I marked the back here. And you could also, if you wanted, put a mark on that too. Now all that does is give you a lot of security that you're gonna have the time and right when you go to fit the new belt. On the old belt, I decided to put a uh, my paint marker here, liquid pen, and mark it up. And from one side to the other is 17 teeth. So there's 17 teeth in between on this time and belt. So I marked there, there, and then I put an eye for the inlet cam. And what that allowed me to do is, before I had the belt removed, I had that already marked, and I had the crank marked down there. Now, in here, there is a plug that goes against the crankshaft. So that goes against the lobe on the crank, and when you turn it clockwise, when you rotate the engine over, like the Fords, you'll hear the web on the crank hit that locker when it's in the correct position. Once that's locked in, you put your backing plate in here, and then you have your timer belt supposedly all locked. Now, when I loosened off the tensioner on mine and I got the belt to come off, these moved. So I was very thankful that I had everything marked just so I would be certain on the position of it so when i when i had it fit back i had to put tension anti-clockwise on this one and anti-clockwise on that one for these to line up and i put marks down here and one was slightly lower than the other so the exhaust was slightly lower than that but i am now 100 percent certain that i have the timing set up correctly on this i thought that this would be a useful video with information that if you are going to be doing one of these mark everything and i would strongly strongly advise to have the correct tools is it doable without the correct tools possibly just about if you did what i do here you mark everything there is some aftermarket uh, cam lockers that may be suitable or the the style of cam locker that slides in there that would also be useful these are the specialist tools that was used. This is for moving on the cams. If you, I used that when I was rocking it back to get the belt fitted on. 
and this is the timing toolkit. So 304757 Volkswagen Audi Group by Toledo. This is the piece that sits in the back of the cam and it also comes with this, which is the adjuster for the tensioner, which sits up here. Now, I don't think necessarily you would need that. That sits in there and it can adjust the tensioner. You could probably use a Nipex um, pliers to rotate it or maybe even the likes of a 27 or a 30 mil spanner would probably sit on the end of that as well and get it adjusted. If you are doing one of these belts be very cautious and make sure the timing is 100% before you fit it back together. If it is a tooth out or if the timing is out you're going to have running issues. You're going to have performance issues and it's likely going to throw lights on and the job will have to be done all over again. And that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.